going to start with unit number 3 photosynthesis and respiration in plants basically plants need energy they get this energy from the food they make two processes are very important for the plant that is that are photosynthesis and respiration basically the photosynthesis is the food making process and respiration is the energy producing process in this chapter we will discuss about photosynthesis and respiration in detail one by one external structure of leaf first of all i will explain you about the external structure of leaf basically when we look at the leaf externally it, then it has three main parts this middle part this middle stem is known as midrib the flat surface this green flat surface is known as lamina and these thin vein thin layers are known as veins so basically the outer structure of a leaf consists of three parts that are midrib lamina and vein if you look at the structure of leaves then every leaf is different from the other it has different shape different size and different structure so this is how different leaves look externally external structure of leaf so today our main topic is to discuss how the leaf looks internally how it works and what are the function of each part leaves are very important for the plant they are plants food factory so basically plant plant needs leaves leaves are very important because the leaves has the plant to make its food there are three main parts of the leaf epidermis mesophyll vascular bundle so here if you look at this picture this picture is given in your books and it is the internal structure of the leaf if you cut a leaf from this from and and take any piece then you can examine it under microscope that the leaf consists of epidermis upper and lower epidermis then it has mesophyll cells and this and then it has vascular bundles now i will tell you about epidermis mesophyll and vascular bundle in detail one by one epidermis so the upper and lower layer of the the upper layer of the leaf is called upper epidermis and the lower layer of leaf is known as lower epidermis here in this picture you can see this upper layer is known as upper epidermis and this lower layer is the lower epidermis each lower epidermis has many stomata here this lower epidermis has many stomata each stomata has an opening and two guard cells so here in this this picture you can see that this is the stomata and every stomata has a opening and two guard cells there guard cells they guide the opening exchange of oxygen carbon dioxide and water vapor, uh, water vapors between the leaf cells and the air takes place through the stomata so basically the exchange of gases between gases like oxygen carbon dioxide and water vapors between the cell and the air outside it takes place through these stomata the guard cells guide uh, guard the opening and they allow the exchange of the gases between the cell of the leaf and the air so this is all about epidermis till now i will tell you about mesophyll between the upper and lower epidermis is the mesophyll the mesophyll is made up of cells that contain chloroplast so here in this picture you can see this is your upper epidermis and this is your lower epidermis between the upper and lower epidermis these are the mesophyll cells they are green in color they mesophyll cells basically contain chloroplast a green pigment chlorophyll is present in the chloroplast that traps light energy which is used in the food making process so basically the mesophylls contain chloroplast and chloroplast further contains chlorophyll and chlorophyll is responsible for trapping the sunlight and making the food making uh, and helping in the food making process the mesophyll is the main region where the photosynthesis process takes place so basically in the leaf inside the leaf the photosynthesis process takes place in the mesophyll region so this is the mesophyll region and the photosynthesis process takes place 
in the mesophyll region. Why? Because mesophyll contains chloroplast and chloroplast are of green color and they have green color pigment that is known as chlorophyll. So this is all about chloro mesophyll. Now we will move to a last part of the leaf that is vascular bundle. The central part of the mesophyll tissue is made up of vascular bundles. Vascular bundles contain xylem. It carries water from the roots to the leaves and phloem. It carries prepared food to the other parts of the leaf. So if you look at this picture that I have told you earlier that between the upper and lower epidermis, these all cells are the mesophyll cells. And between the mesophyll cells, there is vascular bundle present. Vascular bundle contains two things, xylem and phloem. Xylem are responsible for carrying water from the roots to the leaf. And the phloem, they carry the prepared food, the food that is prepared through the process of photosynthesis to other parts of the plant. So this is how the internal parts of the leaf work. And this is all about the internal structure of the leaf.